Euh, la seule affaire que j'ai enlevé dessus, c'était la yellow plastic wrap on it. Ah oui? Là, j'étais comme. J'avais ça, j'étais comme. Do I keep going? <laughs> Do I keep going? <laughs> We got another box. I'm here with Yannick from uh, Orleans Hobby, here to give you uh, another unboxing and my thoughts, kind of quick review on what's in the box. And like you guys know uh, from the title, you probably already know what's in it. So let's open up the box. And usually when the store receive the box, this is how they get it. This is the factory box that it actually comes in. Uh, so sometimes you can actually ask the If you order one from them directly, ask them, hey, can I have the original box? Some guys actually like keeping this box on top of the other box. Dumper, dumper. Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys ready? It is the, oh, we got a poster. What is it? Oh. TRX4 Bronco Edition. Scale and Trail Crawler. So this should be a uh, the orange one that's in there. And it is a first delivery from Traxxas. So if you go to uh, Orleans Hobby, right here, uh, you can find their store information at Orleans, orleanshobby.com. And uh, you can find uh, and actually go there and see them before they actually um, available for you guys. And actually try it out uh, in the store or outside and things like that so this truck is there for you to touch and feel and see how it is but this body is is pretty nice i've seen some pictures and some videos of it and it looks really neat some people don't like the front uh grill but i like it it's different and it's hard plastic and That's it. That's I, it. i like the fact that you can actually put leds in there um, yeah. directly from the factory So there is a lot of different options you can get for the TRX4. The base of the TRX4 theoretically is the same thing. There I am talking, talking, and you guys are just there. Open the box already! So, open it up. Oh yeah, I'm taking a knife. I'm taking a knife and he's like Christmas. Yeah. Make noise. Make some noise. Now I'll break the seal on one side and he can break the seal on the other side later. That's all right. Much later. Oh, I got a spare tire. Look at that. I got the rear end of it. Everybody likes a good rear end. <laughs> okay, just uh, hold it. I pull it. Ooh. It's a crawler. Okay, the rest of the remote should be on there and you can pick that up if you want. Pick it out. Nice. Got some weight to it, that's for sure. So in the box, you do get the manual. Uh, you do get the uh, key wrench, the cross wrench. Uh, you do have some uh, Allen keys in there. Two, two uh, Allen keys, a 2.5 uh, and a 2 Miller, or 1.5 and 2, I believe it is. So uh, key, key wrench. You do get some stickers and the owner's manual. Oh, and you get a nice... Brown Code TRX4. Now this, uh, you do not get this when you buy a truck. Uh, this is done on the first delivery packs only. Uh, that's when you get a poster. This is usually meant for the stores. Some stores, uh, after a while, they do get, get give them away or whatever, special events and things like that. And uh, some stores just put them on the wall because it's advertising and it looks great. So this is very nice. Ooh. So, uh, get the camera closer and uh, show it off. Oh, it's saran wrapped everywhere. Yep, she's wrapped. When you look at it from far away, it looks like they're, they're not see-through. It looks like they're painted, but it actually is see-through. They're so, tinted windows. Tinted, yes. Now these, they're quick release. 
Oh, so it is just it's like the, the same as the three as the three point uh, tech. Yeah, the four tech. The four tech, yeah. Four tech three point is the same system for body clips. Uh, a lot of people were saying, how long are they going to last? And let's bring the camera closer, and we can show off some details. There we go. We got the camera a little closer, so you guys can see a little bit better. And what I like about this truck, it does come with the TQI um remote which is link enabled for the bluetooth it does not come with it but you can actually buy the link and actually en uh, enable it which is a nice thing and you do have the uh, uh to switch gears and lock your diffs uh, this is the gears and these are the front front diffs and unlock so nice tqi remote now coming back to the body just move this here a little bit further uh, the body does have these clips which is like it comes down and then it comes back up uh, these are kind of a grayish rubber plastic so they should last pretty much pretty good and the way they've got it designed it should last and even if you got mud and things like that that was the biggest thing on some people saying what about the mud what about the weathering wearing of it and so on so and you can see that they are tinted windows and it's actually tinted from the inside that's really neat the way they've done that and again it's full exo cage just like the um traxxas uh the summit the summit yeah but it's the exo cage but from the inside which is nice because it's going to make this body a little bit heavier, but also stronger, much stronger, especially when you do rollovers and things like that. And that's the reason they've done it also is for the uh, the way it actually mounts onto uh, onto the body. So and the way the spare is, it is a, a real spare. It is a real spare. You can use it and it is already pre-glued. And the tire squeeze, tire squeeze. Everybody likes good tire squeeze. So uh, rims are nice. They're different than the other TRX4 I've seen, which is nice. It's probably because it's a Ford uh, kind of looking rim that they've done, which is nice. Uh, door handles. I like the fact that it's actually real door handles. Uh, one thing with Trax is the way they finish their truck. Very nice and very detailed. I've seen that in the past with, with the door handles and... and and to me, that's very nice, and that's a nice finish. Rear tail lights are really interesting. What they've done with the rear tail lights, also because they really stick out, and the details on these tail lights are very nice. So once you got LEDs in there, these are going to look so great. They already look great, just the way they've they've done it, and the, they actually look real. Here they do have kind of little handles that you can hook up a, a rope or something on it just like the real bronco headlights are really nice and the fact that you can actually put two leds in there and also that center one you can also put another led in there the traxxas led kit can be found uh, uh, from traxxas directly and it will cover all the lights you can actually put a third market uh uh, LED kit on it if you wish, but the one that comes from Traxxas is pretty nice. But this body is a bit chunky, chunky, but very nice is what they've done, and the very scale well. look like even the wipers. The wipers uh, look nice. You can position them a little bit. Wonder if you can turn them more. Yeah, probably. Everything is under the cage. Yeah. So the whole front part here, it's all molded plastic and it's all attached to it and it's all attached to the exo cage. So it's nice and sturdy, that's for sure. And so are the door handles. Door handles actually go through the Lexan and are actually attached here on each side. So everything is nice and strong. Uh, LED kit. Kind of neat how they've done the LED kit. Everything is actually hidden. But is there plastic? So 
I'm just wondering how you're going to put the LED in there. It might be, it might come with their, their own kit. I don't see a hole. No, I don't see a hole either. But I know that you can actually put it. So I don't know if it comes with the lighting kit. That there's a replacement plastic to actually hide them. The front is actually the same way. So I'm not sure how the LEDs are going to go on there. Um, so that's some research I'm going to have to do. I'll try to do some research and put it in this video. If not, I'll do a follow-up video on this uh, for the LED kit for this for this truck. But they've done a good job on this Bronco body, especially the new Bronco from Ford. Everybody was wondering who's going to come out with the first one, and uh, we all know who came out with the front the first one. Uh, but uh, this one I find has way more detail, and it's it's not a hard it's not a hard body, but the way they've done the exo cage and all that, it almost looks like an it almost feels like a almost, hard body. Almost. So very cool. I'll give you that, this to you, so you can play with it and have a look at it, and I can show off the uh, the body and the body mounts on this. Uh, everything on this TRX4 is the same thing as the other TRX4, uh, except for the wheelbase. Sometimes the TR some TRX4 are different wheelbase. Uh, this one I'm not sure, but I'll put it uh, here on the bottom of this video right now. Uh, out of the box, I'm not sure what it comes, but um, it's just like a regular TRX4. You have your TR, uh, Titan 21 turn motor, you have your XL5 in there, you have all the servos to actually change gears and uh, lock the diffs, everything is there. So this is a fully uh, geared up TRX4, which means you can do everything on it, all the electronics and things like that. It's like driving a Cadillac, it's fully loaded. And the rear bumper and the front bumper are slightly different yeah. to accommodate the body. But as you can tell, they finally decided to put a license plate holder place here. So that's a bonus to put your plates. Cool. And uh, these fenders can be bought and found if ever you want to just buy the Bronco body and put your TRX4 uh, and just change your TRX4 to accommodate this. You can actually just buy these fenders and buy the whole kit and it fits directly onto yours. So, And if you do get uh, another body, you can buy the post also. The post would come here. All the body posts for the original ones that uh, actually use body post. You can just get body posts and put them there. They do have the fake winch in the front. And the bumper should be strong enough. Well, I guess it's not. I guess you do have to put a metal bumper. I don't think I'd put a real I don't think I'd put a real winch on here. Yeah, you just... could, but mind you, on my uh, TF2, I've had a uh, a winch on it for years. And it's a, it was a plastic bumper on it, and it worked. Well, some of them are good. Some of them are cheap. Yeah. You know, it's... But there's a lot of room inside here to actually put a winch right here. And actually, if you put a servo winch here, you can have, have it come out of here uh, and make this look like the winch, but it's actually inside. Some people actually do that also. That's one way to get around it. Uh, it makes it very easy, is putting a winch here. And drilling out a hole in front and it comes out of here and you don't have to change a bumper you don't have to lose the look of this truck but nice weight on here uh, i can see why these trucks perform so good on the trails and lots of clearance also lots of clearance because of those portal axles metal links pan hard in front the only thing that they missed is the metal drive shafts. Again, Traxxas is renowned to be, you know, plastic drive shafts. Yeah, but I which is fine. I, know, I haven't heard of anybody breaking their their drive shaft on the TRX4. No, I haven't heard, but I've seen pictures okay. with twisted, yeah. you know, the twisted drive shafts. But there is I a lot personally of never yeah. had any issues. But there's so many different mar people that come in the market now that you can change these drive shafts if ever you want. Yeah. So, and there's some of them that are really cheap and they're very good. So, it's if you look carefully, you can get yourself a good set of drive shafts for next to nothing. Tire squeeze. 
These are vented, so if ever you go in the water and things like that, please plug your hole inside before going play in the water, or else you're going to get them waterlogged, and it's very hard to get the water out. So, and this is a fully waterproof truck. So let's see, put, put the body on it, see if, how easy it is to put the body on it. Just like that. And just like just that. Pick it up from the front to the rear. Everything stays pretty easy to line up. And to take off, you just put your fingers in the mud. If ever you run in the mud after. You get your fingers dirty to actually take it off. Take the front off, take the back off, and off you go to the races. And put it back on. Clips. I like the fact that it clips pretty easy, and the body actually lines up here with the ro uh, rock sliders. It actually lines up very good into this groove here uh, for the body. So that's very interesting. Very nice truck. Yeah. It's got a nice stance to it. I, I like this one, this body, compared to all the other bodies. Uh, not because it's a Ford, uh, just because it looks so nice and so detailed. That's it. The realism of the body is there. Yeah. It's doesn't look cheap it looks well built it's solid and like frank said the cage inside really helps with the body yeah like when you when you hit this and you're going to go on the trail you're gonna you you won't think it's a lexan body which is nice yep oh it doesn't work <laughs> darn thought it was solar powered yeah need some solar power panel on top uh, that's something that somebody should invent actually is is like a solar panel to go on top and it trickle charge your battery that would be a you, good idea you could go on for days and days and days and having fun driving uh, so you do get like I mentioned the TQI remote on it it is uh, Bluetooth uh, link enabled which is nice uh, oh this this it does come with the Bluetooth the Bluetooth is on there, so well, it is enabled, so which is good. That's a bonus. Yeah. So there we go. Now we can hit the trails and have some fun. So what are your thoughts on, on, on here? I know you talked a little bit about it, but what do you think? Well, it's a TRX4 platform, so I've had a few of those. Great platform to play with, but the body just... Mm finishes it off it's it's the nicest body that i think traxxix traxxix traxxis came out with yeah. um like frank says all the door handles wipers mirrors lights so on and so on just makes it that much more sexy and it's it's i, I like the fact that they finally did a tinted window but the fact that it's it's not painted windows that you can actually do an interior on here and you can do an interior pretty easily the way they got it laid out in there, uh, which is a, actually a full interior where the battery actually goes. It's right in the center, which means you can have a console in the center and have the two seat and actually have guys in there with legs. So uh, you get full points uh, when you do this and uh, having the cage in there also like the exo cage makes it easier to actually have the doors open also like some guys actually do cut out the doors and put hinges and have the door open because the cage is there it's going to make it that much stronger yes when you open the door you will see the cage but it, it's doable it's it's something that some people actually might do um the fact that the line is here that you can actually cut the back off to actually remove the off and put it back on is really neat and great option and the way they've done the mounting system it's a bar that comes across so there's so many options for scalers or people that actually modify their trucks uh, that would be cool um, this truck actually comes with t-roof and you can have very much see here uh, in the top of the line of the body where to actually cut it if you want to be, make it become a t-roof if you do an interior on it so there's a lot of possibility with this this body. It's really nice. I like it. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to like it. Yeah, but this is a very capable truck. Uh, portals are not for everybody, uh, but if you like crawling and having a good challenge, you'll just find bigger rocks and bigger challenge to actually challenge yourself. That's it. Um, but this thing, 
should be nice nice action and, and nice to see on the trails so cool when are you gonna get one as soon as they're released i'm <laughs> snatching one. Oh yeah <laughs> cool i got to yeah it's it's you know it's my destiny suspension check <laughs> No, every time we have a truck in, in our hands, it's either we squeeze, squeeze a tire or play with the suspension. Always playing with the suspension. Cool. Yeah, some people think <laughs> in the mob. Uh, well, guys, thanks for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, charge up those batteries and go out there and have some fun and break something. Because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having any fun. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>